Eric and Kavika Shoji, uh, congratulations, by the way. Bronze medals, they brought them in. Um, I want to start with this, okay? You guys go in as one of the favorites for the Olympic Games. You guys go 0-2, and, and everybody's like, what's going on? Their minds are blown. Can you, can you think about what it, what it was, or is there any tangible reason as to why you guys had that slow start? I don't know if there's any one thing. We had eight new Olympians, so maybe some people were a little bit nervous. Uh, it's a sporting event unlike we've ever competed in ever before, so I think there were maybe some nerves. We got off to a slow start, but thankfully we recovered pretty quickly. And you recover against the juggernaut, right? You guys do it against Brazil. You guys stunned them, the number one team in the, in, in, in the world. What were the fans like? Because they seemed to boo everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know, they were definitely um, cheering for their home team um, <laughs> at the expense of us sometimes, a yeah. little boos, a little whistles. But, you know, they're energetic. They're like Hawaii fans. They're knowledgeable and they're, they love the sport. So it was an incredible environment to play in. They were energetic and smart, but, but were they as respectful as Hawaii fans? Not as respectful <laughs> as Hawaii fans. They didn't always cheer if we won a great point. Yeah. But, you know, it was just an amazing environment to play in and one of the best in the world. What do you guys think of international play? You guys like it? It's awesome, yeah. We're going up against the best players in the world. We had three Hawaii guys on the team, which is pretty fantastic. Yeah. And uh, it was just a great experience. Yeah, OK, so, so in your off time, you were allowed to spend a little bit of time with dad. So when you're with dad, does, does he let you relax or does he kind of go, okay, well, let me tell you what you did wrong during this match. You know, maybe there's two minutes of what we did wrong in the match, yeah. but you know, he's a fan these days. You know, he, he's up there cheering, he's up there jumping, cheering for us. And you know, it's just great to see him up there with our family and friends. Okay, so just to clarify, so we talked about international play. You guys are thinking about Japan then, right? Yeah, I think uh, Tokyo's in our sights, but nice. right now it's a little bit of relaxation before we get back to work. So. And rightfully so. <laughs> okay, so what did you guys get to do while you guys were there, aside from just you know, being immersed in what you were doing? I mean, did, did you get to watch the other sports? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, we were training every other day that we were playing, so we didn't get to see other sports, but it was on TV constantly, and you know, off time was with family and friends, so hung out with them a lot and just experienced Rio. Do you guys stay up there at all? Tour, tour the sites? No, anything? well, we've been there before. So we've toured okay. so, some of the sites. Sugarloaf and Christ the Redeemer are really cool spots. Um, our competition was from the second day of the Olympics until the last day. So yeah. it was one of the longest, most grueling competitions. Uh, but we, we had some fun, too, along the way and on our off days. What about the pageantry, the, the, the ceremonies and the opening and the, and the ending? What was that like? Incredible, incredible experience. Opening was just, you know, that moment, chicken skin the whole time. and. Closing was more of a party, you know, you're going in with all the countries, yeah. dancing to the music, and you know, there's artists, there's dancers, and you're just having a great time. Okay, I, uh, what was the water like? I mean, was it as bad as the reports were, <laughs> were saying, Guadabara Bay? You know, thankfully we didn't have to swim in yes. it, and uh, we stayed away from, from the bay, but all of the other things actually were really, really great. Um, was positive, Rio yeah. took care of us, the volunteers were awesome, people were friendly. So our overall experience was fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thanks for doing us proud. Thanks for having you us. Along with Michael Christensen. And can I touch it? Can I touch it? There it is. Wow. It's a little, it's a little heavy. You want to hold it? Can I keep it? There you go. You can't keep it. Oh, Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, then that's it. Thanks, everyone. We'll be right back. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. <laughs>